going on, y'all? It's 360 with Speedy Mormon. I'm him, and today we have a very special guest in the building. Memphis's very own Key Glock is here. Glizak. What's up? What's up, bro? How are you? Chilling. I'm cool. We didn't pick these chairs on. It's not a coincidence. <laughs> I hope you're nah. happy with our, our choice of color here. I am. I'm very am. <laughs> Everybody knows that Glock's color is yellow. I mean, we've seen it on album covers, we've right. seen it just about everywhere. Mm -hmm. And from what I understand, the reason is because your grandma's favorite color is yellow? Mm -hmm. Is that why? Mm -hmm. My How, great grandmother. Your great grandmother's yeah. favorite color is yellow. Yeah. How did you, A, find out that that was her favorite color, and B, what made you kind of want to incorporate that into every aspect of your brand? She had passed, but it wasn't a, a, a focus, like the color wasn't just a focus, it was just, Something my grandmother, her her daughter, which is my grandmother, told me. She was like, you know, yellow favorite color, which is one of my other favorite colors because when I'm, you know what I'm saying, when yeah. I'm associated with this, that's my primary color. And then what made you want to take that and then just kind of like run with it and then the yellow cars and yellow tape and the yellow this? Because like yellow, the color of yellow itself, it just, it just stick out so much to me, like no matter what you put it on or where you put it, you, it's going, you know what I'm saying, it's going to pop. Yeah. Just like on cars, like, you don't, you don't normally see no four-door cars, like, right. yellow, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, you normally see, like, coupes, yellow coupes. Right, so exactly. that's why I said I'm going to, I'm going to paint my Rolls Royce yellow. Yeah. I'm going to paint my Maybach truck yellow. I will say you are like the only person I know who does this. So if I ever yeah. see anyone else in hip hop with yellow, I, they definitely got it from Glock. Oh, uh, yeah. But I've not seen that happen yet, though. So, but that when that day comes, we'll know that they copied. They got about 10 of them to do that. Yeah, because you got nine, right? 10. You have 10 now? Yeah, when I dropped that, I had nine, but I bought another. Okay, so, so you got 10. 10. And what was the new car that you bought? I, don't, I, can't, I can't put that out. Okay. It's I ain't going to put it out. No, nah, it ain't no secret, but everybody know what I, I already got, so I got to keep at least one. For yourself. For this, yeah. I get it, I get it. So let's take it back for a minute because to my understanding, back in the day, your name wasn't always Key Glock. Before that, it was Glock Boy, mm -hmm. and you had another name. Was it Key the Kid or something like that? Mm -hmm. How long ago was that? Same and what person. made you? You said what? Still the same person. It's all the same. I mean, we know you got <laughs> multiple identities, but but what made the transition from from Glock Boy, the Key the Kid, and then to Key Glock, like and Glizzock, and like growing up, like middle school and high school, I've been like. I've been had a name like in my city. I've been popular, like I've been well known. So I kind of used to get agitated, like when I see folks on social media or, or put their name like in reverse, like with my nicknames. So I was like, man, I'm gonna change this shit. There's too many trying to be like me, like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. So for example, it'll be like a Tony the kid or Josh the kid, or, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, or. Glock boy Tony, Glock boy Steve, like, I was like, I don't know, I'm finna change my shit. This mm -hmm. is how I always be like, when when someone catch on too much to what I'm doing or what I got going, I don't like it. Cause on I, I want to be the only one with it. Or right. Doing. Yeah. So you want to stay in your own lane, so when somebody start to get hip to you, you change and you on to the yeah, next When they thing. think they hip to me, yeah. Then you on to the next one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm curious as to what, you know, you're very intentional, I think, about like your social media presence, you know? It, it, we only see, we only get what we see. Right. We don't really hear from you that much in between. So who is who is Glock? Like what what do you do? Like what is, mm -hmm. you know? It, everything is so mysterious. Who is Glock besides the music? And what is it that you that you're into? What do you do? Like what is the walk me through it? I like E serious. E serious. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Playing basketball, going to sleep. Going to the bank, mm -hmm. go to the jewelry store, and chilling with my mom. That feels like a very average, normal lifestyle. You know, things that everybody That's else. What I like does. doing, lay back. Do you look at yourself as like a celebrity? Do you see yourself as a celebrity or just a regular guy? Nah, cause this shit material, bro. I ain't gonna lie, like it's. It might be a financial difference, but they don't, they don't make me look at people different. You know right. what I'm saying? So. Yellow Tape 2, the deluxe version, is out now. Mm -hmm. uh, as no surprise to anyone, there's no features <laughs> on this entire project. <laughs> Why no features? I mean, we, we've never seen a feature 
with the exception of Glizak, who is also you. That ain't me. It's a different person, but it's the same <laughs> vibe, though. I... Still no features, though. Right. How come? I'm gonna be honest, bro. I don't like nobody. I don't nobody like me. I'm just put it out there. It's just straight up. I don't know if I think that's true, though. I don't think no. You're not an artist. You're saying amongst. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like I don't know if I agree though because because <laughs> I you know you do have songs with other people, right? But those features don't make it onto your project. Yeah, it ain't it ain't even about so much that it's just I'm not like other people. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not too quick to do what other people going to do, so, you know. <laughs> well, what experiences have there been that you feel like people don't like you and that you don't like other people? Like, what, what's, what's happened? I don't pay attention too hard like that, like, into detail, but if you know, you know. Mm, you ain't too much to talk about. So then when an artist, you know, maybe, I, I've seen this happen a million times, you know, an artist will see another artist, yo, we gotta lock in, like, we gotta get in the studio. <laughs> like, I'm not even, I don't even play like that. So if an artist says to you, yo, we gotta lock in, like, how do you say, like, how do you politely be like, because obviously you're not gonna put the feature on your album. Uh, it don't even, it don't, the, the conversation don't even be like that, bro, because, like, niggas I already kind of know, like, that ain't what I'm on. Yeah. Like, We've seen J. Cole do that. You know, he went through the first however long with no features. He was going platinum and double mm -hmm. platinum. And then as of recently, he was like, you know what? I don't want to retire one day and have absolutely no features. So mm -hmm. I'll do one or two. And then now we've seen him start to do a few. Do you feel like that will ever happen for you? Will you ever maybe allow someone else to be a feature on your project? I don't know. I don't, I don't plan on it, put it like that. Okay. I, mean, I don't want to say no and... A couple years later, they bring this up, and like you said, you want to. You said you never going to yeah, do it. Yeah, so I don't plan on it. This is a safe way. This yeah, is a safe I don't way plan to say on it. Now, you also said that, I, I thought I heard you say that you weren't going to drop anything this year. You were focused on something else. Right. That's what you kept saying. Right. What was the other thing that you were focused on? Something else. But have we seen <laughs> it yet? Is it, has it? Yeah, it's in y'all face. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. It's just, I just haven't put it into works yet. Okay. My way, put it like that. Are you still working on whatever said thing is? Oh yeah, always. For life. Five life. Five life. Yeah, is five it life. a musical endeavor? Is it a separate entity? Like what type of <laughs> It's something else. <laughs> so is it something that we'd be surprised to know that Glock is doing? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when when and if that thing that you were working on hits the masses, what do you think the reaction will be? Like, what, how will people react to it? The way I want them to react. Which is? In the way of happiness, you know, what? I don't think nothing but positive, so it ain't, of course, nothing negative, like, you know. Okay, you're being very cryptic about it. <laughs> nah. I can't wait to see what this yeah, is. Yeah, I, I can't let you get too much out of it. You try it, though. I'm just curious, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just curious, because yeah. I heard you say it in so many interviews, like, yeah, I'm right. working on something, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And then you also said that you weren't going to drop a deluxe to Yellow Tape 2, but now here we are. Yeah. So what made you want to change your mind? Because I didn't want to put a, a newer, a fresher tape out mm -hmm. because of what just happened with my... Uh, Yellow Tape 2 with the original tape. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to continue what bro started for me with that, you know what I'm saying? Right. So just finish out what he wanted me to do with it. Then I'm gonna go on and do it, but else my way. Gotcha. Yeah. Now there was a tweet that you let out that had a lot of your fans upset. You said, finna go to acting school, <laughs> doing music don't hit the same. <laughs> what made you say that and how serious was that? It was 50-50. Cause I'm not finna go to acting school. I ain't gonna lie. Unless they make me. Cause I don't feel like I need it. I, right. I, I got it. You already, you, you already had it. Yeah. Just give me the script. You good? Great. Okay. So that's the 50, <laughs> That's the first half. And then how about the other half? Do you still? Do you actually feel that way? Like music is not really hitting the same for you right now? Yeah. I, yeah. I have my days. Put it like that. I'm sometime with it right now. Yeah. Like I'm. I'm I'm in it, but I'm not in it the same like I used to be, you know? How come? You know why, but, you know. 
does it feel like sometimes, you know, maybe you're at a different stage in your life, like, you know, back then you were hungry, you were young, you were trying to get on, and now that you, that you got on to the degree that you did, maybe it's not everything that you imagined it would be. Does that have something to do with it? No, nah, not even really just there, it's just, man, you don't even know, bro. Like, words can't even explain, like, how I really feel about this shit right now, you yeah. know? So I just, I try my best to, like, look over it, but I can't, like, yeah. this, shit, this, this shit stuck with me forever. No, nah, that's real. I mean, we're all human, so. No, nah, for sure. There's something else that you said on the line that I think is funny. Um, you said, I don't give a fuck about nothing. I don't even fuck with my cousin. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, the line is hilarious. But is that real? Do you really not fuck with your cousins? Or yeah, you I got cousins just, I don't fuck with. Don't you got cousins? <laughs> you don't fuck with shit. I wasn't talking like a particular cousin, but it's like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you, are, are, essentially, are you saying I got that? some friends that I'm closer to than, than actual. Like, actual blood. Like, yeah. It's just like that sometimes, you know? There's a saying that sometimes people, they'll be like, um, you know, the difference between friends and family is like, you don't choose your family, you're just kind of born with them, but right. you decide who your friends are gonna be. And so that's why sometimes people are closer to their friends because they decided mm -hmm. that they wanna be cool with them versus the family, they might not even like them. Is that kind of what your vibe is? No. Like like, my mom was only child. My mom only got one brother. But my grandmother got eight siblings. Mm -hmm. And, like, we just always been, like, divided. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, every... You know how it is, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Black families, bro, so it's just, like, money don't change nothing. Like, if anything, you make it worse. Yeah. If you really want to know, you know? Yeah. How has money kind of changed the people around you? Because they say the money don't actually change you. Everyone else start acting different. Have you noticed that over the course of the last few years? <laughs> yeah. I know how to deal with it, though. What, what's like, the best way to deal with I'm it? I'm just, but... I try not to look at it like negative. I just look at it the way, like, I'm just able. I'm the person that can do this for someone. Basically, that's how I just look at it instead of looking at it like negativity all the time when when I know people using me, you know what I'm saying? But I don't, I don't, I don't let that get the best of me. I just know what kind of heart I got, so I'm just, I just be, I just be happy I'm the one that can give, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I ain't, growing up, I ain't have nobody like, like myself that, yeah. that'll do anything for me whenever, no matter what, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But it's just how I am. Yeah. And now, did you ever have any doubt along the journey that you would become that person? Like, did you imagine as a kid that you would be this successful and be able to help people? Yeah, I always, I always knew. I, would, I ain't never, like, doubted myself that I wasn't going to make it or, you know what I'm saying? None. I always told myself, I told my grandma, I'm like, man, I'm going to be rich. Like, I didn't know what, like, what in particular that I was going to be doing, but I just I always told my grandma, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be rich. <laughs> yeah. And so, I mean, if if hip hop didn't work out and you didn't stop, perhaps you could have been rich playing football. Because you say that football is something that you always truly, truly love. Right. Yeah. And that, you know, I, I've heard you say it's something that you still, when you're watching the game, you're like, man, I want to get back out there. Yeah, sure. Do you feel like if you never quit, that you would have had a legitimate chance to, to Most still play that game? Most definitely. Yeah, yeah. And what, what type of guy were you out there on the field? I played slot receiver. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you was nice though? Great. <laughs> Great? Great. And then how about on the, on the hoop side? I mean, I, I heard. I was nice on the hoop. I heard, I be hearing. But I'm better in, in football. Better but in you're, football. So, but football. which do you love more? I love them both the same. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Like you know, everybody love basketball. Even the people who can't play basketball, right. like they love. They, it. Everybody <laughs> love basketball. Exactly. Now I will say though, you know, as successful as you've been, it always feels like you're not really a part of the industry like that. You know, most times people get on and they feel like they gotta change the way they act or they gotta start doing this a certain way. But it seems like you've kind of just done everything your own way. 
and have still been equally as successful? Yeah, I think there's, I think you go farther that way. You just be yourself. Like that's where you go wrong trying to switch up when it's, you know what I'm saying, at the wrong time. Yeah. Like I'm all about timing, so I just, I just be myself. I just roll with the flow. Right. Yeah. But it's hard because, you know, once you start getting a little buzz and, you know, most times here come the labels and here come the... It ain't hard, though, because what people don't know is, like, even the most popular people watch the people on the come up, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, and, and, and buy it off of them. But, like, you, you will never know because you're so stuck on trying to be the popular guy. Right. Popular guy is buying off you. Right. <laughs> And they don't even know that their whole swag and flow is good. Yeah, sure. at all. <laughs> did you ever feel that pressure? Not not internally, but did you ever have people around you that were like, "Man, you should, you know, you should sign to a label, or, man, you should, you know, be this type of person. Maybe you should put out this type of record instead of what you do." All the time. Maybe. Yeah, I hear that all the time. But it doesn't move you in any way. Nah, cause I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, mama, but I don't even listen to my mama. Like, I, I do, but at the end of the day, my own man, I'm a, I make my own decision. Right, and you just stand on that. Yeah, right. and mo and 99.8% is right. Yeah. My way go, it go, it go successful, yeah. All right. Well, I've heard you say that, you know, there's only one thing on your bucket list, and that's to be as rich as Bill Gates. Yeah. Or Elon Musk. Or Warren Buffett. Or Warren Buffett. Or Jeff Bezos. Or Jeff Bezos. <laughs> yeah. uh, is that still the only thing on your bucket list? Is you still locked in on that? Yeah, I be laid back, bro. I, don't, I ain't trying to do nothing too crazy. Like, let me ask you something. What's, what's on your bucket list? A lot. I mean, you know, there's places in the world I want to go see. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm saying, like, all right. Not like travel. Not okay. like Charles. Like things I want to accomplish? No, like like life thrilling activities. Like See, you want to jump out of the plane, like, like, like you want to do some... I don't want to skydive. Like, I, I, do. don't wanna, I don't even like roller coasters, so that's not really my thing. <laughs> See, that's, that's, that's how I look at it. I don't look at bucket lists like traveling mm -hmm. or milestones. Like You look at it as like... I look at this goodness. stuff like must do's, like to-do lists, like I got to do this. I don't mm -hmm. look at it like a bucket list. But no desire to jump out of a plane or anything like that. Yeah, no, not me. <laughs> <laughs> not me. Nah. On this financial journey, though, I mean, I'm sure you're 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 climbing the ranks. But you know, Bill Gates, Warren, these guys got so much money. And I just do a quick Google search, Key Glock net worth, and it says your net worth. I'm saying it too. It says 1.5 million dollars. Mm. Is that an accurate net worth of Key Glock? I got more than that in Jerry. <laughs> like how much, like I'm sure this is, this is probably a lot compared to that. So how far off are they? I say about 8.5. 8.5 million dollars off. Yeah. I'm not gonna overdo it. I know what. Right, realistic. I know what, yeah, I know my business, so yeah. But they're far off. Where did they come up with these figures? Like, where did where do you think they got this one point five? I don't know. I'm guessing. <laughs> like, Trying to figure me out. Like your cars that are on the album cover are right. seem like it's more than one point five million dollars. Right. Yeah. If not right at it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about these jewelry. Unless, that's probably what they was talking about. How much my album cover network? Maybe like just the album cover. Yeah, that's what that. they were talking about. <laughs> no, nah, they couldn't because I had. I had about 750 worth of jewelry on on the cover. So, yeah, they off. So the cover alone, we're talking, oh, what, $2 million on the cover alone? Yeah, about 2.5. 2.5 million. Yeah, yeah, facts. Let's talk about these jewelry pieces you got on. I mean, we see you at Icebox all the time. I mean, you got rose gold, you got this. But one piece in particular, you had a, a, a Bart Simpson piece mm -hmm. that I saw. What's the connection to Bart Simpson? What makes you, why Bart? Just a little bad dude. Did you watch The Simpsons a lot? I did, but I didn't. But I knew who Bart was, you know. So you, you did you tell them like, yo, can you make this, or was it already there? And no, then again, like Gucci, my favorite rapper, and he had a Bart chain, 
you know what I'm saying? He had our iconic bar chain, and you know, then again, yellow was my my thing mm -hmm. at the time, and still is. Senses so are yellow. I just wanted to bring it back and put my twist on it, right. threw the uh, Jordans on it. Yeah, they, it did have the J's on it. And uh, is there is there a piece of yours you have that's your favorite? Mm, my last piece I just bought. I just bought a dolphin from Eddie. Yeah. 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 Oh, blue dolphin. My biggest piece too. Like, it's big and this, it make this shit look little. Like nothing. It's big, yeah. Has jewelry always been something that you're into, or is it now that you get into money? Yeah, I, it kind of has since I was little. I just, I just always had a thing for jewelry and cars. Like I couldn't wait to get some money to go get the stuff that I always wanted. Right. So, yeah. And but now I'm numb to it. Like I don't care about it. I buy it for everybody else. Right. What what you say? You know, you you always just wanted to get money to get the things that you wanted. What was that first thing that you were so happy to be able to get? Do you remember? Was that you know that first big purchase? And don't say the McLaren. I was so I said I can't wait to tell you. <laughs> I was I was I was like 20 when I bought that McLaren. McLaren at 19. 20 years old. Yep. See for myself, I don't really too much be cherishing that shit. I bought my mama a Benz. Mm. Like my first year of like 2017, like when Glock season out, when mm -hmm. I first started seeing some rap money. A Benz? Yeah. How did that feel? You know, especially with that, your mom being your best friend. I don't friend even think I had a car. No, I had a car, but I had wrecked it. But I ended up, I still, I bought her a car because I was on the road so much and I ain't, I ain't really needed it at the time. Right. Yeah. And what did that mean to you to see her be able to get a, a Benz after all she been through? It just made me feel good. Like, just, I don't know, bro. It just made me want to just keep buying her stuff. So, like, two years later, I just bought her another one. You know what I'm saying? Then last year, last Christmas, I bought her another one. I bought her a truck. Right. A truck. Like, I just always give her, like, I go to the jewelry store by myself, so I see somebody like, man, my mama look good in this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I ain't got no gal or nothing, so I'm getting it for my dude. Right. Yeah. And you got no kids either, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Chill. the that's the way to do it though, you know. You Chill. take care of Mom Dukes. You know? Yeah, that's sure. the way to do it. I want to read you a, a, a few tweets um, that I saw <laughs> on Twitter, and you could just react to them. <laughs> I read this one the other day. It said, "Can't listen to Glock while driving, or I'm gonna be going 90 miles an hour." <laughs> when you hear something like that, what does that make you? Yeah, cause I catch myself doing it. I don't even I don't even be meaning no harm. It's just I don't know. It's just something in the music. It's the energy. And it just make you want to just... Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Another tweet we got is, it said, listening to Glock make me want to do hood rat shit. What that mean? <laughs> just like, make you want to just do shit <laughs> that you ain't supposed to do, you know? Uh, I guess so. Uh, Can you see how that is? Yeah, it's a lot of energy in the music. I think that's what it is. Yeah, it's definitely the energy. That's what it is. This last tweet it says, Glock and Dolph were the best duo they never, ever missed. Mm -mm. What does that feel like to hear, you know, that, that y'all never missed when you was making records? Kind of already know that. Kind of already know that, but I don't mind hearing it from someone else. Yeah. That's, how I, that's how I act, that's how I really know. Yeah. Like when someone else tell me. Now, obviously, you know, we haven't really heard much from you since the tragic passing of Dolph. Is this the first time that you've done an interview since he passed? Yeah. 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 I, I'm just wondering how you feeling, how you holding up. I mean, obviously something that's I'm content. I'm content. Uh, I'm all right. When you say content, what does that what does that mean? Like it, it, yeah, is I'm, it still I'm, a... I'm I'm maintaining. Like I'm not I'm not getting better, I'm not getting worse. I'm just I'm just here right now. Yeah. Do you feel like sometimes you just catch yourself stuck? Maybe in a cycle, you know, just of emotion. All the time, I can't shake it, bro. I can't ignore it. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even. I can't even shake it. It is what it is. Yeah. But that's real. We, you know, it's natural to feel that way. Do you remember how you found out and and where you were? Never forget. Yep. Where were you at? I was at home. I was at home laying down, actually. Yeah. And did somebody you know, call you or? Somebody called me in the house. Like, you know, how you can hear when somebody call your name, like the tone of their voice, like you you know something wrong, you just don't know what it is. Yeah. 
that's, 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 what I, that's what it was. You know, obviously it's not something that anybody saw coming or, you know, or even should have happened in the first place, but what kind of things have you been doing to try to be better and to try to, you know, move past? Do you have people close to you that, you know, maybe you're trying to keep your mind occupied or, you know, maybe you're trying to just distract yourself? What, what kind of ways have you been? Man, well, ain't nothing. Nobody can tell me it ain't nothing I can do that'll make me feel better. I'm just be 100. Yeah. Like, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> Is it tough when you, you know, hear some of your songs that you've done together, or maybe on the country it makes you feel good and makes you remember, or, you know, remember both the times that y'all had together. Both. Yeah. Both. Yeah. Depending on the situation. Yeah. yeah. Cause you hear songs like Major, you know what I mean, and like to me. That's like a song of celebration, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, for sure. It's it's that's one of the moments I, you know, and you see the, the views on you, hundred million on there. Right. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I imagine you had some some great times and you know, if you had to try to think of something that comes to mind when you think about, you know, one of your favorite memories that you and Dolph ever shared, what comes to mind? Man, I ain't got no favorite memory. I, every moment was a favorite of mine. Yeah. Like, I ain't gonna lie. What ways do you think that you, you know, know? Have me thinking too hard and too yeah, no, deep. We, we, yeah, we ain't even gonna do that. No, <laughs> can't do it. Only on a positive tip, man. Like, um, you know, in what ways do you think Dolph will be remembered? You know, his legacy was one of uh, incredible motivation. You know, so many people saw him and saw that he could achieve something, and then you know, felt like they could do it too. You know, and so in what way do you think he'll leave a legacy? The way he handled his business. Independent level, yeah. The way he handled his business. And you feel like, you know, he did it his own way and didn't feel like he had to... I don't feel like, I know. Yeah. I was right there with him, I know. Like, he actually is the CEO and the artist. You right. know what I'm saying? The, 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 the video director too, if you need to be. Like, yeah. Yeah, all that. So, for sure. Yeah, and then and what will you take from that moving forward, you know, that you don't need anybody else and you see we both it's so crazy we bro, we just alike like without even trying to be like even on our own time we just like like I I even direct my own videos you know what I'm saying like style myself and just you know what I'm saying just think of think of off the wall trend just to start like you know what I'm saying that, and, and it was really crazy like when we were doing it together right because it's like Really can't be stopped. Still yeah. can't be stopped now, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? One of the best duos to ever do it. All right. On a more positive tip, I know that you know you've been working on some things, and you. I heard you say one time that you wanted to drop your own water. <laughs> yeah. What I did that? say that. I did say that. You did say that. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? You want to drop your own water? I mean, we got a, you know a, a water option here. Is it? What do you mean when you say <laughs> you got your drop your own water? Drop my own water. What do you mean, like when I say I'm gonna drop a tape? I'm gonna drop like some water. Least, you're gonna come out with a brand of water. Yes, a brand of water. So many waters out there exist. What makes Glock water different? What separates it from the competition? I'm gonna take a sip. So, it's different types of water. Like you got purified, spring, mm -hmm. alkaline. alkaline, Kagan, like there's different waters, but I have to tell you that off camera because I don't want to give my idea before I actually Execute do it. it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm big on manifesting. So, I know I'm going to do it. It's really already done. I just ain't put it into paperwork, right. basically. Okay. So, But you got an idea. You ready to see it? Yeah, we're to chop it up. I got you. But my thing was, I, and I was like, let me pitch him on this idea. Why not do your own lemonade? Because lemonade is yellow. Glock's whole brand is yellow. I'm 10 steps ahead of you. I'm 10 steps ahead of you. Are you 10 steps? Okay, you already got, okay. I thought I had a million dollar idea, nah, but, you, right. but you're already hip to it. For sure. Okay. All right, so look, what you think I should call it then? What should you call like, it? It matters. They play a big part. How about the lemonade? You ain't feeling it. Yeah. Huh? I can tell by the face you wasn't feeling nah. it. Glimmer. Let me think about that, and I'm gonna hit you and, straight and, up and get you. Get yeah, you, you, you know, style. I need some time to sit down with it, to write out some options. But 
I'm gonna come up with some. Yeah, you know, Yeezy didn't come up with Yeezy, man. Right, Beanie Siegel came up with it. Yeah. And now Beanie Siegel rich forever because of that. <laughs> so if I come up with a good name, hopefully I'll be rich forever too. You'll be rich now. Yeah. It's all you to do with your money. I don't know what you're gonna do with it, right. but. I'm gonna come up with some. Straight up. Are you an ideas guy? Do you have, you know, other things in mind that you wanna accomplish and achieve and that, that people wouldn't expect, like water? Mm, I haven't just really thought too much on it. Yeah. Like, I don't like putting too much on myself, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like taking my time with stuff and doing it right. Like I said, I like doing stuff my way. Yeah. And I don't never like rushing. Like, because everything that's here on earth been here before or gonna still be here. That's a fact. So, I ain't tripping. Well, Glad, I've learned a lot, of, uh, <laughs> some new stuff about you. Um, Yellow Tape 2, the deluxe is out now. What do you want people to take away from, from this deluxe project? If you don't know me, just listen to all 30 songs. You'll find love. You'll find love? You'll find, you'll fall in love. You'll fall in with love. With me, yes. Okay. All 30. Guy, we, we heard <laughs> different, you know, you know, different things from you. I, I, I even heard what kind of felt like a love song. You know, you might hear some trap. You know, like what vibe is it that you want people to receive? Or is it just that you're just a multifaceted artist that can go in kind of every direction? Yeah, I just, it ain't no particular, yeah, lane. So I just, I just like trying different things. I don't go too soft. Like, I, don't, I stay in my lane, but I don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, don't, I don't go too far out. Yeah. yeah I leave that for, for those people. <laughs> and then musically, I guess, lastly, what can people expect from you? I mean, the last time you told us you wasn't going to drop nothing, but then you did. So where are we <laughs> at with it now? Do you feel like you're going to release some more music in the coming months? You're gonna wait out the year. Where where are you at with it? Or is or maybe it's just quitting and going to acting school. I'm trying to see what these movies, man. <laughs> Get the movie money. Yeah. I'm waiting on these folks to hit me back. That's all. Okay. So maybe some. Movies I can too. always record. I got, I got a studio at home. That's nothing. We independent. I can drop a song every day of the week if I want to. Right. But the movies is where your where your head is. Yeah. At. I'm trying to do something right quick. So, but can the people expect some new music coming from you in this year, or should they not hold their breath? Glizzard might drop some. Okay. I don't know about me. But Glizzard. But Glizzard might do. And just to make sure, Glizzard and you, different people. Right. But, but the same person. Right. Different conscious. Different conscious, same person. Yeah. Gotcha. Same body, different conscious. Same body. And then how many, real quick, how many other consciences is Tony as well? Five. Five. What are they? Glizzock, Glock, Tony. Louis. Louis. Big Glock. Five different consciences. <laughs> yes. All yeah. Yeah. We love it, Glock. I appreciate you taking the time. Yellow Tape 2, the deluxe is out now. Make sure y'all go right, stream man. that. Sure. And I appreciate you taking the time, buddy. Appreciate you, my boy.